Hey guys, welcome to the channel again. Today we have a MacBook Pro from 2010. It's still in good condition, but the trackpad is not working well and the battery is completely down. So we're going to replace them and we're going to install Linux in here. I have already my parts here, I have a replacement trackpad and the replacement battery. Let's go ahead, replace those things, install Linux and see what's going on. and the battery now the trackpad is very clicky again and the battery is now it's full power and i tried this out with several Linux distros and they worked fairly well now it's manjar on here and it works also flawlessly so here we are in the system guys i replaced now the battery and the trackpad everything is working fine again and i tried several Linux distros but i installed on the end manjaro which is working actually really well and let's have a look at the info tab here just to see on what versions we are so as you can see, we have an XFCE version 4.14 distributed by Manjaro Linux. This is the latest version. Everything is working very well. It's very snappy. The SSD inside, which was already installed before, works really well. And at the install, I choose this time to have FreeOffice installed. So let's see it, how it works. We have here the FreeOffice text maker. Should work fairly well. And there you go, it's very quick, it's very snappy. So everything works fine. Let's also have a look at the internet browser. We have Firefox installed here by default. And we are here on the Manjaro website. Everything working also very well. Let's have a look at some other pages here. Everything looks good. This is the download page from Manjaro where you can download actually the ISO for the XFCE version. Let's have a look also at the kernel installed. Let's go down to the Manjaro menu here and type settings and click on Manjaro settings manager. And let's click on kernel. Right now we have kernel 5.4, which is the LTS version. However, there is a new kernel here, the 5.5. You could go ahead and install it, but I'm not gonna do this yet. Bluetooth is working, although it's now it's off. Wi-Fi is working well. So it's a 2010 MacBook Pro, which will last still for many, many, many years with Linux. So again, it's very important, I think, for sustainability to have Linux running on these machines. They will not run the latest macOS version here and you can run the latest Linux version for a very long time still to come. So thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video.